density change between the universal size energy level of the vacuum mm -hmm. to the Planck size is huge. Mm -hmm. So this whole thing is like driving this spin, you know, because the, the plug is perpetually pulled. Yeah. So everything is continuously spinning like the snake chasing its tail, you know, trying to resolve this change in density. So you could imagine our universe is in a larger one, that's in a larger one, and all these have different density vacuum oh structure. And so, so the Planck pixel I'm using is mm -hmm. only true for the scale of universe we're in today. You see, that, that in a larger universe, that Planck pixel might be much bigger mm -hmm. for that universe. You see what I'm saying? I mean, for that universe, our universe might be the pixel. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? So, so there's a constant change in this infinite fractal structure mm -hmm. of density gradient that's driving the whole information network. And to actually learn how the, the field interacts and pull a little plug mm -hmm. in, in a little region of space to get a little control over gravity over here. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, we, it could lead to gravitational control, energy production, you know, in in health and and well wellness and and life longevity. I mean, all these things. Yeah, we, now we open the door to application. We're actually not far at all um, because we have the technology today. Mm -hmm. Meaning, it's, it we have all we need mm -hmm. if this is true um, and. Now we have the math, so that so it's very precise to do the engineering. I think we're very close. For me, it's very exciting. You know, instead of thinking that consciousness is in the brain, you could think of the brain as like an antenna, like a radio set, tuned in to certain frequency mm -hmm. of the information structure of the vacuum. And so that everybody's tuned into a different, a little bit different mm -hmm. frequency. That's why we're all a little bit different because we observe the fractal from our position. So we get a little bit different information than mm -hmm. anybody else. Mm -hmm. And so we're tuned into that frequency. But then sometime mm -hmm. our, our, our radio set is a little bit off. You know, it, it, it's like, you know, when you're tuning your radio, like sometimes it's clear and then you go a little bit off and it's like you know there's a lot of noise mm -hmm. right so 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 when the brain goes into coherency it's like it's just like a radio set mm -hmm. i mean if you look at the oscillator in the radio set when you go into resonance mm -hmm. of the sync circuit in there it, mm -hmm. it becomes no noise right and that, and so the brain is acting a little bit like that and i'm doing research with um, uh, William Brown, Dr. Brown, and, and others um, that are mapping the microtubules in the brain and how like these things could be like teeny antennas. They're little, they're little tube, you know, s vortex structure that have water in the middle of it, like, mm -hmm. and and all this, and and how this could be like the 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 antenna interacting with the vacuum and the information moving through that antenna. And some work was done previously by Penrose, a very famous physicist on it, and as oh, well. Yeah. yeah, so it, it's not new, but it, um, we're, we're, with this new model, we may be able to bring it to the next level. So you think people can visualize that, that this information is in, in a toroidal field so that they can see that like, um, yeah. They are feeding information to the vacuum and the vacuum feeding back information to them. I think that's a really important thing because uh, there's a lot of talk these days about you're creating your reality, you know? Exactly. That, that um, you're the one that's shaping your world. And in one way, this is telling you that's true. That not because of the double slit experiment and the Copenhagen interpretation, but because the field is an information field that you're interacting with. But, the, but what it's telling you as well is that it's feeding you back information too. So, so that it's not just you creating your reality, you're part of a larger and actually infinite fractal realities, but your fractal 
is probably has the most influence, like the global consciousness, you would mm -hmm. think, like the, the morphogenetic field Interesting. Of, of the gold. So, you know, you exactly. Yeah. And so that's the link, mm -hmm. you know, to the universal consciousness, to the universal information network. Literally, us going towards the proton, going towards the inside that of what actually makes us and then there comes another unification right in this mm -hmm. view which is the unification between spiritual people that tend to think it's all within and um and scientific people that tend to think it's all without mm -hmm. that we don't have anything to do with it and so now you can start to see oh actually it's together so it's a dynamic model. It's a dynamic model. Within, without, and then this yeah, yeah. feedback structure.